guys and welcome back to another nail video so I've got all the, this stuff out because I'm not out exactly sure what I want to do I know I want it to be like a wintery nail design because this is like you know a bit early but like you know Christmas Christmassy design so I want, I want something blue on that so it might look quite nice oh look at my nails for people who've been been following me for a long time you know my nails have always been horrible but I've left these on now because I've done an infill on both sets and I just took these off after the second one but my others are the same look they're growing who would have thought it who would have thunk it who would have thought the nails grow if you leave them alone <laughs> but yeah I'm dead proud of them I'm not going to cut them down I'm going to just going to put the nail tips on top and hope for the best that they don't break but yeah, they're proud of them. So the things I've got, I'll literally go through really quick because I don't know if I'm going to be using all of this. These are glow in the dark, so I want some snow. So I'm going to go for that one there and it glows like a, a, a really nice turquoise colour. I've got some of these snowflakes. I've got some of this, but I won't be using it for the UV black light. I'm using it because it's a really dark blue. This is what that looks like because I don't know. That one. I might put some netting on, I might put some of that blue on, I might be putting some of them on, and I might be putting some of these on. <laughs> so I'm going to start off by prepping my gorgeously really long nails, <laughs> then I put the nail tips on and then I'll get started. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is just do a couple of mixes. I'm going to mix up the uh, white glow and I'm going to, I don't know what you call these, the, the like flake things and I'm going to add some clear to them because I have done that before and it really works. Yeah, I've been waiting a long time to figure out what I'm going to do on my nails. I've even done a drawing which I'll show you now. <laughs> Because I seriously, seriously have no clue. So now my nails are on, eventually. <laughs> now I'm just going to prep my nails and as usual put a layer of, a thin layer of clear acrylic over my nail bed so if I did want to change the design if I go onto my nail bed because I'm putting colour on my nail bed, I can I say that anymore? <laughs> it's like a layer of protection and it does help the nails to stay on better and I hardly get any lifting doing this either. All right, so I'm going to start with my thumb. So what I wrote down was I'm going to put the white glow in the dark near the cuticle area and I'm going to do some straight lines in different angles. And in between them, I'm going to put the Model 1's Poly Gel. I'm doing number 011, which is, it's got the stars in it. You'll see it in a bit. I did a review on this a few weeks ago. It's absolutely gorgeous stuff.
All right, I'm gonna leave the poly gel until last and then I can put it on my nails where I want to. I'm gonna make sure everything's dry before I do that. So my first finger, I'm gonna put a different colored blue. I think I'm gonna get one from Glam and Glitz with the really pretty glitter silver in it. No, silver glitter in it, should I say. Then I'm gonna make a gap for the poly gel and then I'm gonna put the white glow at the bottom. spoke for a bit so for my second finger I am gonna do myself a nail bed with Nao's flawless and then I'm gonna blend that down a little bit put the blue glitter faded in with the nail bed and then I'm gonna put I think let's see how this goes I'm gonna put my glitter that I made on top of that which is silver at the bottom I'm gonna put the white glow and it says to add some Snowflakes, don't know whether I'm gonna do that just yet, but the rest of it, I think I will follow what I put. So I'm going to give my ring finger a miss because I have no idea what I'm going to do on that one. So I'm going to go into my pinky. Now what I did write down, I'm going to forget because I really like to use these little crystal things from Neo. So I'm going to do something similar to what I did with my thumb but maybe do the space for the poly gel going the other way. My second finger, I'm really not happy with it. The glitter goes too far up and I really don't like it. So I'm gonna file it off where the nail bed is and think of something else I can do there. It just doesn't look right and it doesn't go with the rest of the nails. If you're wondering why I'm using a sand band, with the blue that I'm using from Neo, it's really pigmented and I don't want that staining my drill bit. So it's the same when I use gel polishes. I always get them off using using a sand band because, you know, sand bands are so cheap and it doesn't matter if you need to throw it away, but with the more expensive drill bits, you don't want to ruin them. Okay, so this was just like an off-the-cuff thing to do. Um, I, I got no idea where these are from. I've obviously got given them from somewhere, but I have no idea where. But I just thought, you know, why not? And then I did add, add some of my um, silver glitter in between, but that looks a lot better than it did. I'm happy with that. So the next thing I'm gonna do is in, in the spaces that are made on, all, on these fingers, I am going to put the poly gel in and hopefully that looks nice. I'm going to cure that then for 60 seconds. Then I'm going to encapsulate all the nails. 
and then file and buff them. So I'm hoping that <laughs> you can sort of, when it's finished, you can sort of see through the poly gel that I've put on. I mean, I have encapsulated poly gel before and I've never had prob problem, but this has got things in it and I'm beginning to think that it's just gonna stay dull. I don't know whether to file it and put some top coat on. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Then I'm going to encapsulate. All right, so that part's done. What I'm gonna do with my ring finger, because after I pull my fingers out of the UV lamp, oh my God, they glow in the daylight. This glow in the dark is that good. So I'm going to put a thin layer of the glow in the dark white on my ring finger over all of it. Then I'm gonna put the Model 1's poly gel on top, cure it. Nope, nope. Encapsulate everything else, file it, and then I will come back. So now all them are done, I am going to do the my most favourite thing ever of doing nails. I love this part. It's the filing. So I'm going to start with my side walls, get them nice and straight again. And then I'm going to get my e-file with a medium crystal and drill bit, file them to the, an inch of their life, buff them, and then it's top coat time! All right, so just to make sure there's no dust and stuff on my nails, and this will make my fingers go all white, so like, you know, don't panic. <laughs> I'm gonna get some pure acetone, this. I, I put one inside of the other, because it was nearly empty, and this is full. Okay, lid on, neck. We all know where this accident takes me. 
So I'm just going to rub it over my nails and cuticle area. Make sure there's no dust before I put top coat on. And guys, oh my god, you ought to see how these glow. These are crazy. So I'm going to put my new favourite top coat on. This is Wow Bows Diamond Shine No Wipe Top Coat. Love, love, love this stuff. So I'm just going to put this on my nails and cure for 60 seconds. Then I'm going to see what bling I can put on. So, I've got some clear crystal mixed size set one. These are from Smiley's Glitter Store, and I've picked out the smallest ones I can. And I'm just going to put some crystals either side of the poly gel that I put down. On my ring finger, I have found this piece. I don't know where this piece is from. I think it's part of a set of jewelry which I've just clipped off. And I'm going to put this on with. Poly, clear poly gel so it doesn't come off because I've only got one and I really like it and I want to try and save it so the best thing to do if you want to, want things to stick on really well is used is use poly gel Alright guys, well that is the end of today's video. I've finally finished. This keeps falling off. I'm leaving it off. I cannot be bothered to sit there and wait for it to dry. I've, I've had enough. This has been two days worth of design guys on one hand. These crystals aren't the best, but they're the only ones I could get sort of the same size. Um, so they all do. I haven't got that many small crystals, so the ones from Smiley's Glitter Store will do. This looks absolutely stunning, doesn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. But the video isn't ending just yet. I am going to show you how much these glow in the dark. It is crazy how this white glows in the dark. It is ridiculous. enjoyed this one guys i will try and link everything i used today in the description box thank you so much for watching this one and i hope to see you next time bye guys